Let's uh, start with the Sun, that exclusive about Manchester United and Graham Potter from Neil Custis. What can we read into this, if anything, Charlie, in, in your paper? Yeah, well, yeah, my, my colleague in Manchester, Neil, um, I mean, he wrote in December that, that the club uh, had Graham Potter as their top choice should they part company with Eric Ten Hag. Um, and as we know, Dan Ashworth uh, is uh, yeah, the incoming sporting director at United. He's on gardening leave at the moment with Newcastle, obviously close with Potter from their time at Brighton. Uh, when Potter took over at Chelsea, he actually described uh, Dan Ashworth as, as first class. So um, there's clearly a strong link there. Um, and no doubt they've just had a chat about football. Uh, and I think it's fair to uh, assume that uh, Manchester United uh, would have been on the agenda. So, yeah, I, I think it's a really interesting story. Um, you know, Ten Hag still sort of hanging on and and I, I still think that he'll be gone in the summer. Uh, and, uh, you know, as we've said, I think uh, Graham Potter, there's a few strong candidates there, but uh, Potter's clearly up there. What do you make, Martin, of, of Graham Potter's candidacy to be the next Manchester United manager if, if Ten Hag does go? Well, it, it, it's interesting in terms of Potter's time at Chelsea it will be seen as a failure. What was it, 11 defeats in 31 games? And with all due respect to Chelsea, managing Manchester United is, you know, one of the most challenging jobs in football that you can get. Um, will he be ready for it? He's been quite wise and that he's taken himself away after what was probably a bruising time at Stamford Bridge. And he may well fit into the kind of Brailsford model. Um, he has relationships, as, as Charlie said there, with Dan Ashworth already, who, you know, we, we're still not quite sure when he's going to move into position at Old Trafford. Um, the compensation package with Newcastle is still to be agreed, but... You suspect that for, if the fees to be ten to fifty million pounds, that 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 would be one of Manchester United's better signings or certainly investments. So we'll see. But it'd be the, the, as for Eric Ten Hag, um, you are you feel like you're on borrowed time when a new owner comes into the club. And the, while the Fulham defeat wasn't the end of the world, it was really badly timed in terms of just following the takeover. I, I would suggest a lot of Manchester United fans are still not quite sure about Eric Ten Hag and he's been at the club for a period of time now. So he does appear to be um, in a very difficult position. But this is going to be a very interesting summer in terms of managerial movements. Nagelsmann will be free after his short-term contract with Germany runs out. Um, you know, Bayern Munich are going to be looking for a top manager. Tuchel is available and has also been linked with Old Trafford as well. Um, so you're going to see a lot of movement and... That, that first appointment, obviously, I think Manchester United have been quite sensible in what they've tried to do in terms of restructuring, how they, 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 they run their football at club and the recruitment. But the, the big decision is going to be who comes in as manager. And, you know, Potter's reputation was sky high when he was with us with it, Brighton, but it has been damaged. And the reaction, if it is to be Graham Potter from Manchester United fans, would be very interesting. Yeah, concerning Potter's reputation here, Neil Wright said, Charlie, on your back page, uh, ex-Chelsea boss Potter is the favourite of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his assistant Sir Dave Brailsford to become an Old Trafford boss if the new Red Devils part with Ten Hag. Does that suggest that they frame what Potter's time at Chelsea in, in, in not in a positive light, but maybe they, they see a clear context for why it didn't work? I think so. I mean, you know, as Martin said, you know, the, the record, the stats aren't great, but... Look, I, I, I think, I think we, we all know that, that Ch Chelsea's been a bit of a madhouse now, hasn't it? You know, it, it is at the moment. Um, yeah, it, it was under Frank Lampard. Uh, and I, I think Potter had a pretty thankless task. So I think Dan, Dan Ashwood knows better than anyone what, what Graham Potter is capable of, his views on football. Uh, they're aligned in terms of transfers, which is obviously hugely important because that's been an absolute disaster, isn't it, under Ten Hag at Manchester United, certainly in terms of the amount of money spent. Uh, and United, uh, under Dan Ashworth, uh, I'm sure will be a lot more sensible in the transfer market. They'll get the right type of player, the right fit, uh, and not pay probably quite as uh, ludicrous sums of money as well. Uh, so I think potentially it, that could be a, a combination of those two that could really work.